The Daily. Only on Charm. I put money here. Not my long, where? It's in the midst of the world. Why is it, why, why, why put if you've been to downtown Victoria, you've probably felt just like this. You put money into a parking meter, but it's broken. Oh, and let's not forget the dreaded parking ticket. But there's hope on the horizon. The city is putting in these new parking pay stations to replace the broken and aging ones that we see around the downtown core. The city shares a lot of that frustration because the last thing we want to do is put out a product and have confusion or have people breaking into them. And, uh, so this should eliminate a lot of those problems. These new parking meters are already used in many cities around B.C., but they don't come cheap. The city's paying around $3 million for 250 of these machines. And for the Downtown Business Association, that's money well spent. What we're most concerned about as a downtown business community is we want this to be attractive, we want it to be efficient, and we really want it to be hassle-free. The new pay stations will have numbered parking spaces. Me to enter my space number. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, nine. It's going to ask me to press the green button. I press the green button. You can pay for parking at any pay station. Just remember your number. I'm going to take my ticket from below. It's going to remind me to take my card. So, once these old meters are replaced with the new ones, you'll be able to pay by coins, major credit cards, the city smart cards, but no cell phones yet. The city says pay by phone will be coming in the future. And don't worry, if you're still using smart cards, you'll still get a refund for any time that you don't use. We want to pay by space so that people can log in pick their space, log into the space, and when they're finished their parking, they can log out of that space. So they get the refund, they're only paying for the time used. But while these new parking meters should help with people's frustration, there's still the issue of the lack of parking downtown. We have about 1,900 parking spaces downtown. We don't have a lot more streets to put parking on. We're looking at better best way to use our curb space that's available to us. Kelly adds that while there isn't enough parking downtown, more people are finding other modes of transportation. Victoria, which has always been a leader in this fully integrated use of transportation modes of walking and taking transit, riding bikes, and then going in the car, will continue to move away from the use of the car. For drivers we spoke to, there's only one thing they're looking for. I guess it all boils down to convenience. I just don't want to walk a block and a half to find that machine. Now having something that has a stall number on it and then I find that's if you're absent-minded or if you've got too many things in your mind trying to remember that and run down and you're probably running back and forth a few times too. It's a lot of work for something that should be so simple. As for parking rates, the city says they'll stay the same for now. If you want to check these out, you can find them around Broad Street and the legislature for the next couple of months. Reporting from downtown Victoria, I'm Suchetta Singh for The Daily. Yeah, what happened there? Oh, sorry about that. You didn't put this on TV, are you? <laughs>